Hey girls, this is just a quick stretch routine for those days that you just don't have time, you don't want to get on the floor and perfect to just stretch out your body to keep moving through your day. Enjoy our workout. Alrighty, sitting in a chair, just make sure you shuffle forward for me, having that leg straight, foot flexed, and just tipping forward and feeling that stretch up the back of your leg, our hamstring muscle. When you're ready, just bringing that foot on top of your other leg, just staying away from your knee joint, and just lowering your chest down toward your leg. And this just brings the stretch into the um, piriformis, which can help with sciatica and tightness through the bottom area. Let's do it to the other side. So knee straight, foot flexed. I'm not actually trying to touch my toe, but rather bring my chest down toward my thigh and just feeling that stretch up the back of my leg. And when you're ready girls, just bringing that foot on top of your other leg. And as I say, just bringing your chest down towards your leg. You can tell I'm a little bit of a stiffy. So some of you girls, you'll probably be way more flexible than me. Remember to keep breathing, never hold your breath. By bringing your hands behind, open up the chest and you're really starting to stretch through the chest and the shoulders. And this can be fabulous if you are prone to like rounded shoulders. Okay, now I'm just stretching from side to side, just opening up that rib cage and just keeping my spine nice and supple, just working it in different directions. And just exhale girls as you come over the top, painting a rainbow and coming into a standing position. So we're now getting ready to stretch the front of our leg, our quadricep. And if you'd like an extra challenge, just bring your hand away from that chair, standing nice and still, draw the tummy to the lower back, push your hand gently into your foot, your foot into your hand, and that will just increase that stretch through the front of your leg. Now I'm turning toward my chair, and with that same leg, I'm pushing that heel down into the floor, that knee is straight, and I start to feel this stretch now through my calf muscle, which can be great if you're a regular walker. So let's do the other leg for me, just feeling that stretch down the quadricep. And you know girls, if you can't grab hold of your foot, you can pop a towel around your ankle and just gently pulling it up with a towel. Okay, let's do the other calf, so pushing that heel down, stretching out our calf, so important if you're a regular walker. So girls, we're now coming into another stretch that just opens up the chest and the shoulders again. And I'm just stretching for, I'm letting my head and chest drop down through my shoulders. My knees are soft and then just walking into ward my chair. Coming into our spine roll. So remembering this is about waterfalling over the front and then just take a breath in and breathe out as you come into prayer position. So just coming all the way down, ragdoll your arms for me, then stack one vertebra on top of another, push those hips forward, and then just bringing your hands back into prayer position. And again, waterfalling over the front, just relax those arms, and then stack one vertebra on top of another. Breath in as you bring those arms above your head, and exhale as you come into prayer position. Now I'm going to finish in mountain pose and this is really positive to maintain good posture. So I want you to just have your feet touching each other and just be aware that your toes are relaxed and you're squeezing into your bottom, squeezing into your legs, shoulders are back and down, draw your tummy in, chin tucked. And in good posture, I want you just to be doing some deep breaths here. So inhaling and exhaling, squeezing the inner thighs, squeezing your bottom, drawing your tummy in, shoulders back and down, chin tuck. Oh my goodness, so much to be concentrating on. But once again, just working all those right muscles to help us to maintain good posture throughout our day. So keep doing that for me. Nice big deep breaths. You can shut your eyes if you wanted to challenge your balance muscles a little bit. So girls, I'm just saying here, let's finish in good posture. Be aware of a neutral spine. And from there, draw your tummy in, pull up internally, have your shoulders back and down, chin tucked, and congratulations, you've just completed your stretch.
If you've enjoyed today and you would like some free training, be sure to click on the link below where I have created a three part video series where I share with you the three steps women over 50 take to be able to lose weight with ease. Okay, thanks for coming and I'll see you for our next workout.